Hi everyone! Today, as you can probably tell, we are playing some Animal Crossing. This is the first time actually playing Animal Crossing on my channel, but I have been playing since release. I have a fun video idea for today, so I thought maybe we could do it. I did want to quickly apologize and explain why I've been gone for so long. Um, some of you probably haven't even noticed. You're probably like, you were gone? What? But I've been gone because if you didn't already know, I do have severe chronic joint pain and recently we had to switch me off of a med and onto a new med due to some complications. So I've just been down for quite a while due to it. But I'm back now. I'm hoping to maybe start doing some more video ideas, streaming some more, you know, all that fun stuff. So I think today is going to be really fun. I have a food core island at the moment. And I actually just finished it recently. The dream address is up, so I will put that in the description below. Because I have a food core island and because it's finished, I would like to start demolishing it and starting a new island. Well, not a new island, but starting a remodel of my island. So I thought it'd be fun today if we went around and took all the food off of my food core island and see what it would look like if it hadn't been a food core island, if it would just been like a norm core island or something. So I thought that would be interesting for today. Uh, that is my island's name, by the way, is Jolly Roger. If you're not aware, that is the name of Captain Hook's ship in Peter Pan. And I thought it would be kind of cool. I didn't want to name my island Neverland because I felt like that was going to get overused and a lot of people were going to have that idea so I decided to go with the ship's name instead. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. That's interesting. Maybe we can get a new villager today. Um, I also figured today could be somewhat of a tour of my island so we'll also be doing that. It is a little bit of a mess right now but you guys will also obviously have the dream address so you can always do that as well and you can see the not messy version of it. Okay so we are at the airport now. I figured we'll start the tour over here. Just a warning we are in winter so there's snow everywhere. It doesn't necessarily make the island look awful but it doesn't look its best. If you go to the dream address, then you will get to see it in summer, which is what I originally intended on doing and having it in, but I didn't feel like time traveling today. I just haven't been in the mood for that. So we are just going to deal and we're going to do the tour in snow. So when you first come off uh, the airport, you're greeted with some baskets of bread, some Lay's chips, <laughs> uh, and there's some benches. This area is just kind of the welcoming area. I thought it would look nice to just have some some food and different chairs. These donut chairs from 2.0 came in handy with this island. I have them everywhere. <laughs> um, you will see that. Um, so yeah, this front bit's just pretty simple, pretty easy. It's just, you know, covered in food. Here, we'll go back this way. Oh, this is the one issue. I had this idea to use these like pillows and um, make them look like food items in bags, but you do end up sitting on them a lot when you're running around. Uh, up here, we have our first food truck area where you can just sit and have a nice little lunch. So there's that, and then there's a park around here where people are having picnics. There's some slides for kids. This pond I added recently because I needed a pond for some um, fishing that I was doing. So the dream address does not have this. I will be referencing the dream address quite a bit today because there are several versions of this island kind of like floating around, I guess. There's the dream address island, which is like the perfect version of this island that I really love. There's the, the island now when I've tried to make it more functional, I guess. So I have, you know, dryroids buried everywhere. I have some rocks in random areas. I have ponds just like taking up certain parts. So there's several versions of the island, um, but then now we're also going to have a foodless version of the uh, island. So that'll be interesting. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is like the park area. If you go along the other side of the food truck, there's even more along with the museum. Um, there's more picnics over here. There's uh, the museum is up here. Uh, if we go up this way, uh, you will see there's a lot of seating over here. I thought this area was really nice and simple, um, but still kept the food core kind of aesthetic. So I was very happy with that. If you go up here, 
this is Whitney's house and eventually I would like to show you the inside but unfortunately right now she's not home but she owns just a, a simple like fancy restaurant I guess that's kind of a contradiction but you know um and then over here is a donut shop uh kind of like a Dunkin Donuts I guess you could say but um yeah you can order some donuts or some pastries and yeah now if we go this way and up these stairs that are in the middle of the park this is where nook's cranny is um they're just a simple little you know I, I i almost pictured it like a gas station so i i did put like a gas station stuff over here and you know how gas stations are always full of different snacks and everything so i thought it would be kind of cute there's sherb's house and he owns a snack shop slash arcade so he has like a little arcade out the back and again he's not home so i'll have to show you his house later but yeah, he owns a snack shop. Over here, we have a little tea party happening. Kind of like a Mad Hatter style tea party. I thought it was really cute. I've actually done this tea party design on every island that I've done so far. So I stay on the same island, but I've remodeled it several times. There was the first version, which was kind of just like a, you know, the game had just come out. I was just kind of playing around trying to see what worked. Next, I had a fairy core island. I had a, a tea party there as well. Um, and then now I have food core and I figured I'd keep the theme going. And there's a little ice cream stand and cotton candy. Over here is just some more seating. I am noticing that my OBS is kind of lagging. So I do apologize. I will try to do my best to fix that by next time. Uh, here's more of the beach. Again, just another simple little seating area with some little like pie lattice behind it. I, I really like that lattice like pie design. So I've been using it as much as I physically can. <laughs> uh, over here is the campsite, which is actually one of my favorite areas and the, the town. So we'll start with the campsite. So this is the campsite over here. It's just full of little tents and stuff, a little f like food area. Um, there's some fishing and grilling happening down here on the beach, which I thought was kind of cute. The beaches are kind of random, but they do look nice with everything, I think. Beaches are always the, the hardest for me. Uh, while we're over here, and before I forget, let's go see who the campsite villager is. Oh, she's cute. Mira. She's cute. But I would rather not have her on my island. Um, I'm just very attached to some of my villagers, and I don't see a space for her, I guess. And there's just some more seating. Um, again, the beaches are fairly simple. <laughs> there's some crops over here. I have a big farm back here for carrots. Um, I just thought they looked cute, to be honest. All right, over here, this is Rosie's house. She is a performer. I thought it'd be cute to have her place be like a dine-in theater so you get like dinner and a show. It's probably my least favorite of my houses that I've designed but I think it's still pretty cute for her and again she has her own little stage and you know dinner and a show. I thought it was kind of cute. Next we have Daisy's house. So Daisy's house is an ice cream shop which I thought suited her pretty well with the pastels and everything. It's just it's very cute and simple but I like it. Now if we go up here, because this is a tiered village, this is Audie's house. She has a tiki bar, but again, as you can see, she's not in there. So we will just skip her and I will try to show you a video of it later. Uh, this is Tad's house. He owns a rainforest cafe, is kind of what I thought it looked like. Again, not home because my villagers apparently hate me today. So we can't visit him. Uh, oh, here's Bones's house. Bones owns a grocery store. Um, so his is kind of very, you know, just a uh, modern grocery store. Usually, as you can see, he's cooking, but usually there's a little checkout counter here and a cash register, but the rest of it's still here. Um, again, just a cute little grocery store, something simple. Let's see what he's cooking, actually. Oh, I just... Turned off his camera. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I already know it. Dang it. <laughs> and then over here, this is Wolfgang's house. Again, not home. But he has a bar. I guess I 
like, I don't know. I just thought it kind of was cool. Like it's an old like 50 style bar or something like that. Um, so here's our next food truck area. And then there's a little playground for kids on the beach, which may or may not be safe for them. Who knows? <laughs> um, I also have a small food court over here for people to just you know, get different foods and everything, kind of like you would at a mall. Able Sisters, um, this is Meringue's house. She owns a bakery, obviously. Um, I actually really liked her build. I thought it was very sweet. Again, she owns a bakery, but it's very pink, very cute. I thought it was cute to have a gumball machine and like a toy machine over there, like just to distract the children while people are getting food. Next, we have Marshall's house, which has an outside as well. His is a cafe, so Brewster has some competition. I was kind of going for like a modern vibe. I don't know the word for it. Very natural with like the wood and everything, but then kind of industrial with the concrete. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. Um, I thought it was cute and yeah. Next up here, we have a little buffet area. Buffets are kind of gross to me ever since COVID, but you know, uh, <laughs> but I thought it would suit this place very well. So yeah, we just have a little buffet area up there. Over here, we have the, I guess, farmer's market um, with lots of different vendors and everything. Um, actually, this is perfect timing. Red is here. Red owns a market in the a uh, farmer's market as well, but he is selling fish that is probably not legally caught. <laughs> so this is actually the build that kind of inspired me to do food core. I had seen a lot of pictures of different farmer's markets and I thought I really want to do like a really big farmer's market. So I built this and made the food core theme around it actually. Just a little bit of history if you care. <laughs> And I believe this is the last area. This is the woods. And I don't know if you can tell here because it's not great, especially in winter. Um, these, it, this is a trail of breadcrumbs. Can you guess, can you guess why? <laughs> so I thought with it being a food core island, it might be kind of a cool idea or a weird idea, I guess, to make my house kind of the like evil witch's house from Hansel and Gretel where it's like covered in food and they're lured and by like this witch who wants to eat them. <laughs> so that's what I did. So if we go back here, there's actually a little uh, picnic area and uh, like grilling kind of area. But if you look back here, there's uh, something happening right there. Uh, we'll get into that later. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is supposed to be like the Wicked Witch's house, uh, from Hansel and Gretel. So hopefully it kind of comes across. You'll kind of get it more and more as we go. Um, excuse all this stuff. I, I, I don't know what to do with all of it. So I just threw it on the ground, but this is what happens or what it looks like when you first walk in there. You're instantly greeted by a bunch of food, specifically junk food. Um, and it just looks so happy and fun. This is the kitchen where all the food is prepared. Um, so there's lots of food in here again. Um, lots of places to sit and just munch away. I don't know. I thought this room was really cute. Kind of had like a grandma style to it, which I thought suited the uh, idea very well. <laughs> and here is the bathroom. Um, you know, obviously you still gotta have some snacks while you're eating or, you know, using the, the toilet, obviously. Um, but yeah, so this is the bathroom. Again, still has a bunch of food and stuff. Also kind of a laundry room, but you know. This is the living room area. So just very cutesy again, very um, comfy in a way. Uh, they do have a lot of food in here again. Um, just because obviously, you know, reasons. <laughs> Up here is the bedroom area. Um, this is where I sleep. And then there's, you know, beds for 
children and unsuspecting people. <laughs> but there's lots of toys and everything to entertain everybody. Um, a little rocking chair, lots of food again. <laughs> now down here, the vibe changes quite a bit. So don't be too shocked. <laughs> this is the dungeon area. <laughs> this is where the kids and unsuspecting people eventually end up and, you know, they uh, end up, you know, getting cooked. <laughs> they obviously still get food while they're in there um, until they do get cooked. And then this is where I do all my, uh, my spell things and I still have food, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is where everyone eventually ends up and gets cooked. <laughs> A little dark, but it needed to happen for the idea that I had. So, you know. <laughs> so that's actually the entire island. Unless I'm forgetting something, but I'm pretty sure I showed you everything. So now we're going to move on to the fun part of this video, the, vi the reason I planned this video, where we are going to go around and take all the food off of my food core island. <laughs> I am excited, slightly overwhelmed because it's a food core island, there is food everywhere, so should be interesting. So I guess we'll start at the front of the town and... I will kind of just keep checking in with you as I go. Yeah, <laughs> it's this part's kind of going to be a little boring. It's just going to be a lot of me picking up items and kicking away custom designs. So I'll probably give you the edited sped up version of this <laughs> so that you're not bored to death. But I will catch up with you guys in a bit.
everybody so we have been cleaning up the island it's been taking me about hour and a half i would say <laughs> and i'm still going um there's still plenty to do but i just realized that wolfgang is in his house so i would like to show you guys his house um while we're you know in the middle of things um while i'm at it i will check sherb's house and a few others that we missed like whitney's and stuff just to kind of, you know, show you guys everything that I did. So this is Wolfgang's house. Like I said, he owns a bar. Um, I actually really like this. Reminds me of like an old Western town like bar. And with his little steampunk outfit, he just looks adorable in here. So now we will go back to <laughs> destroying my island. So we just finished up getting all the food off my island, getting all the custom designs off my island. So lastly, I need to start picking up and selling all the crops I don't need um, that I've just been placing everywhere as a kind of decoration just to add a little bit more food to the place. Um, so I'm just going to go around and start scooping those up and then like this, you know, making sure there's no more custom designs that I missed because that's inevitable. Um, I'm pretty sure I missed something. So now we're just going to start doing that and I figured, you know, maybe I'll talk during this part because it probably won't take too long. Um, and just wanted to see, like, I would like to, you know, start working on an island with you guys um, on my channel. Of course, my shovel breaks. <laughs> I'm just going to go buy one. Anyway, I want to start working on an island with you guys on my channel. I just, I really love Animal Crossing. Um, I played New Leaf. New Leaf was my first Animal Crossing game and I loved it. I never finished it so like I never got like Brewster and like the stuff that people really loved about the game but I still really enjoyed it. Then New Leaf came out and of course I got New Leaf. Um, so now it's just kind of like, now it's just kind of like I keep remodeling my island. I want to see what your guys' opinion is on what I should do for my next island. Uh, I'm kind of debating on doing maybe cottage core. Um, I've done fairy core already, but I'm kind of tempted to do another version of it. Uh, so if you guys would like to see either of those, maybe we could do farm core. I want something very natural. I don't really like doing city core, um, stuff like that. I want something that has a lot of grass, a lot of trees. It's just, it's very pretty to me when you can do that. So, you know, maybe if you guys want to leave in the comments below what you would prefer to see. Um, again, cottage core, fairy core, uh, farm core. I miss this entire area up here. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, just let me know um, in the comments below and, you know, maybe we'll end up doing one of them that you guys want. I think it would be really fun. We have been playing a lot of Dreamlight Valley, um, at least when I was, you know, streaming and doing videos a little bit more often. And I haven't really had a lot of content for that recently because the updates are so, like, few and far between, I guess. Uh, which is fine. When they come out with updates, they're amazing, so I really don't mind waiting. But in between, it would be nice to have a game that, you know, we can all enjoy. So I've been wanting to play some Animal Crossing with you guys. Um, I did start a Stardew Valley, I like, village or whatever, but the stream was, like really messed up so I ended up hiding that and like privating it so you guys can't see that anymore 
But if you guys want, we can continue that. We can start a new save of Stardew Valley. Just really, just let me know like what you guys want to see. Um, I know we started Kirby on the channel and that would be really fun to go back to as well. There's plenty of different games we can be doing right now. So if Animal Crossing isn't your vibe, maybe you want to see something else. Just again, let me know. Uh, I'm willing to try anything. Of course, I'm primarily interested in like comfy games. Um, I'm not really someone who likes shooters or uh, anything like that. So if we do anything, I would prefer to be some sort of a cozy game. Um, obviously, you know, I know some people would prefer other games, but I just, I, I can't. It gets my anxiety way too high and I don't feel like dealing with that. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is what you thought of this island. Obviously, I didn't make this island on the channel or anything. I did it in my own free time and stuff, but I haven't seen a whole lot of people making food core islands. Um, I will put all of what I used, um, so like uh, all the custom design codes, I will put them down in the description for you. Um, just so you have them and then obviously when we start the new island I will have all the custom design codes for you there but yeah uh, I'm interested to see what you all think like thought of this island um, again I haven't really seen a lot of people do it even if it's not building it uh, it is technically like at least really showing you the island so that if you are interested in doing something similar you have something to kind of go off of for inspiration maybe um, that was primarily the reason for doing this. Um, again, I just really enjoyed doing it and but I did have a hard time when starting it because again, nobody's done it. So and people who have done it probably haven't documented it or um, really put much many videos up about it. So obviously, you know, I'm not really putting any videos up about it. But at least, you know, there's this one and, you know, maybe it helps you guys. And just as we actually finished getting all the food off of my island, finally, um, first of all, it took me three hours. Um, so, fun times. Um, but just as we finished, actually, Tad is now in his house. So we get to finally see one of the houses you guys missed. Um, that leaves Whitney, Sherb, and Audie, if I'm correct. So this is Tad's house. His house is a rainforest cafe. Um, I'm actually very proud of this build. It's very simple, but I really like the idea. I think it came out pretty much as I intended it to. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, I hope you guys like this one. Um, so that leaves Audie, Sherb, and Whitney. There is a chance that, you know, I'll be able to see them and I'll insert the footage into this video or it'll end up being in the next video that I do um, with this island. So we're gonna do just one more quick check, see if either, like any of them are in their house, and then we'll go from there on if it'll happen in this video or in the next video. Uh, let's see, Whitney's not there, and Sherb. If I end up playing a little bit and see that, you know, Sherb or Whitney or Audie are in their house, then I will insert the footage right now and you'll be seeing their house. So, um, but if not, then, you know, they'll be in the next video, hopefully, and you'll eventually see all of them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's all I have for you today. Um, that was a, a long enough video in itself. I did not expect it to take that long, but here we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that maybe you got some inspiration. Maybe I was able to cure some block with Animal Crossing that you might have had. And I hope you guys are really enjoying it. Uh, I know a lot of people right now are doing hard mode. 
I would love to do hard mode, but first of all, I'm way behind at this point than everybody else. And also, I don't have another Switch or another Animal Crossing island to destroy and use for that. And I'm way too attached to this island. So unfortunately, we will not be doing hard mode. Hope you guys don't mind. But it has been really fun. Um, and I am excited to tear apart the rest of the island and hopefully start on a new island with you guys. I hope you have a good day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!